Okay, well, many of us turned up the heat during recent cold weather and watched PG&E bills go up with it. Boy, big time. Some Bay Area residents got a phone call offering to save money on gas, but wound up getting switched to a third-party gas company instead, and their gas bills went up. Yeah, ABC News reporter, ABC7 News reporter Stephanie Sierra has the 7 on your side report. And are you aware that you will receive a welcome packet from AAA National Gas? That will 94-year-old Ramona Martinez doesn't remember getting this call. You know, I don't know what you're talking about there. Right now, Ramona is listening to a recording of that call. AAA Natural Gas of Oklahoma says it proves Ramona agreed to a binding contract. I can't understand you very well. So get, let's get on with it. What are we doing? Ramona also doesn't realize this is a recording. AAA will charge you one only $2. Oh, come on, get up. Stop. You know, you're taking advantage of someone who's 94 years old and has dementia. Ramona just celebrated another birthday. She has advanced dementia and 24-hour care. So her trustee, Ingrid Kirsten, was surprised to see this PG&E notice saying Ramona had switched her gas supplier to AAA Energy Services. How did that happen? She called AAA. And they said, well, we do it over the phone, and we got phone verification. AAA said Ramona agreed to a 36-month contract and that the phone recording proves it. Ingrid is not convinced. There's a series of yes or no questions, and then you hear uh, just a yes. And I can tell by the yes that it's not Ramona. On the recording, an agent reads off contract terms, then asks Ramona if she understands each one, yes or no. AAA will charge a five cents per day customer fee. Is this your understanding? On the recording, there's a 10 or 15 second delay after each question, then a one word reply. Yes. Thank you. Ramona says nothing but yes. This is not even her voice. And the 10 to 15 second delay after every single question is suspicious in and of itself. Now it seems clear Ramona does not understand. Still, AAA said Ramona would have to wait 60 days and pay a $100 fee to cancel the contract. You can clearly tell my mother did not know what she was, was signing up for. Karen Markey said her 90-year-old mother, Mary, thought she was getting a discount on her gas bill. Instead, she wound up switching her gas supplier from PG&E to AAA. They basically said your mother agreed to it and you can't cancel it for two months and there's a penalty fee if you do so. AAA sent Karen the phone recording as proof. Karen says it proved questionable tactics. I'll be completing your enrollment today with AAA Gas ACOR Transport Age. Oh my God, can you hold on just a minute so I can write all that down? Oh, oh you're going to get all this in the form of paperwork as well. That I don't need to. Okay. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. They keep pushing, pushing, pushing and and get her to say yes. Do you agree that the agent has not offered you any other incentive? I guess so. Yeah, but this is the discount. Is that not true? And again, I don't work for AAA. So let me read this statement again. Do you agree that the agent has not offered you any other incentive? I guess so. I just need a yes or no for the recording. I guess I'll say yes, but that's only because I'm getting tired. That well, was painful. Um, I, I think I shed a few tears. The program will be applied to your gas. Oh, my gas. God, this is so complicated. Jesus, mercy. So AAA began billing Mary, but instead of saving money, Mary's gas bill actually doubled. Same for Ramona. Mary's utility bill shows PG&E would have charged her $90 for the gas she used last month. AAA charged $187. Ramona's bill shows PG&E would have charged her $130 for gas. AAA charged $261. AAA tells us we do not target or discriminate based on age, race, or any other basis. A live independent third party explains and obtains customer consent to each sale. This includes informing the customer that their gas charges may be higher or lower than what PG&E would charge them. For 7 on your side, I'm Stephanie Sierra, ABC 7 News.